All right, everybody. I don't wanna make this video, but I made a promise to all of you that I'm going to try to be more vulnerable and share some of my own experience and what I'm currently going through and stuff like that on this channel. And I really hope in doing so that it can help some people out there who might be struggling with weight issues. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and sometimes what I do is pull different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what we can learn from them, uh, the successes, the mistakes, and all that kind of stuff. But the goal is to see what we can learn to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And those of you who don't know, this morning I posted a brand new video, it's like a minute or two long, but I announced the next Shane Dawson palette giveaway. All right, so make sure you go watch that video, find out how to enter, and I also said how you can get three entries instead of one into this next giveaway. All right, and surprise, surprise, <laughs> and I don't even know why I'm doing this. If you want another entry, another entry into the giveaway, retweet my tweet of this video, the one that you're watching right now. It'll be my pinned video until uh, the next video comes out. So retweet it, all right? But if you retweet it anytime between now and the end of the week, you'll get an extra entry. But I don't know why I'm having people retweet it because this video is kind of embarrassing for me because I'm gonna be talking about weight issues, which I don't like to talk about, but whatever, you get some extra entries. And like I said, one of the things that I try to do is like I try to get over my own BS to hopefully help others, all right? So anyways, yeah, I, as you saw from the title, um, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about Amberlynn Reed just briefly, okay? And I wanna share more of my experience. But when I talk about Amberlynn Reed, all right, all of you who dislike Amberlynn Reed, okay, I'm sure you have valid reasons. Like in this video, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna separate all the other stuff, all the other things, all right, everything else for right now, and we're specifically going to talk about her weight loss journey, all right? That is all we're talking about right now, okay? So, Something that I try to do with my channel is, you know, I try to let you know what I'm doing. Like I talk about going to therapy. I'm very open and honest about that. I talk about my own mental health issues, my anxiety, my depression, my medications, whatever it is, my addiction, my addiction recovery, you know, all these things. I talk about all this stuff, but man, when it comes to my weight loss journey, like I get afraid to talk about it on YouTube and be open and honest about it. And one of the reasons is because of Amberlynn Reed. And here's what I mean by that. Like, I've had so many requests to make videos about Amberlynn Reed. I did a while back, I haven't done a long time. But here's, here's what breaks my heart. Like, when people are like calling her a liar and everything for saying that she's going to try to lose weight and then doesn't, like that just kills me. Like just calling her a liar because of that, I'm like, oh, my God, like I can relate, like I'll, I'll talk more about weight in a second, but let's compare this to drug addiction and alcoholism. That's something that I have a lot of experience with. I got sober seven years ago, okay? But here's the thing, all right? Like there were so many days that some of you who are in recovery from addiction, you can relate to this, or even if you're in active addiction, you can relate to this. But there were so many days when I woke up in the morning or I got in trouble with my son's mom or with my friends or my family members and I told them, I said, I'm not going to drink anymore. I'm not gonna use drugs anymore. I'm not going to, I promise you. And I meant it 1000% with the fiber of my being, I was not going to drink or use ever again for how bad I screwed up. But then next thing you knew, I was getting drunk and high again, all right? The disease of addiction is a mother effer, all right? And, you know, I can make entire other videos, and I have actually, about dealing with loved ones who are struggling with addiction, but like, I see this kind of the same way as we see someone like Amberlynn Reed saying like, hey, I'm gonna try to lose weight, and the next thing you know, she's doing a mukbang. You know what I mean? And people say, liar! 
you know, like it is an issue, like it is a problem. And, um, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm worried about being open about my weight loss, you know, on here or my weight struggles and stuff. I'm like, are people gonna call me a liar if I fall off and everything like that? But I just wanna talk about it. And part of one, part of the reason I'm doing this is for some accountability. All right, so I am gonna talk about it. And if anybody, if I do fall off or, you know, whatever, or I, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, cause I have some plans, so stay tuned. Cause I want you guys to get involved too. Um, I'm just gonna brush that off, right? People are gonna be dumb and idiots, but I just want you guys to think about that for a little bit. All right, saying like, oh, you lied, look at your eating again, like, or eating like crap again. Like, it sucks, man, it sucks. A lot of people fall off on diets. Um, but anyways, so as all of you know, like I've been reading a ton of books this year and the other day I kind of made a commitment to myself that I'm going to read at least three books on like food and psychology and therapy around just eating, right? And relationships with food. I was like, I'm gonna do three books on that specific subject by the end of the year. Okay, and I just picked up uh, my first book. Uh, it's called The Food Therapist. It's excellent so far. I'm about halfway done with it. The audiobook's only like uh, four and a half hours, right? But it's it's amazing. Like it's talking about you know my relationship with food and and all these things and different small little strategies that I can do. And part of the reason I wanted to do this is because I just finished that other book, Super Better, and I've been doing little small changes. Um, things as simple as just trying not to drink other stuff and just drinking more water and everything like that. And I, I like, it is so weird and difficult to talk about, but I psych myself out. Like I, I love learning about mental health. I'll learn about mental health all day long, but then like learning about like weight loss and physical health. I'm like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you're going to talk me out of, you know, doing this. Like I've been a vegetarian for two years now and obviously weight issues but you know one of the things is that I've been noticing lately like I go back and I check some of my old videos for various reasons I don't really watch them but sometimes I need to like grab something from them or a clip or you know whatever and I noticed that earlier this year and even last year at this time my face was slimmer and everything and if I'm just gonna be honest with you and some of you guys can relate to this like like um I fell off pretty hard this year because it's been a rough year and yeah a lot of it was i brought it on myself you know and things like that um but i am i'm somebody who eats like crap when i'm emotional um i get a case of the efforts right where i'm just like screw everything you know whatever and like the one thing i don't do is drink or use drugs and something this book has helped me me realize too is why i do it right? But understanding why isn't going to mean a damn thing unless I take action, you know? But now that I'm feeling better and I'm getting back into like mental health videos and trying to help people and everything like that, like I'm getting in a better mental state as well. And I'm caring more about my body again, you know, like last year I lost like 50 pounds, you know, like it within that year time frame, and now like I'm afraid to even step on the scale because I know I've put a lot of weight back on. So there's just different things that I'm doing. And one of the things is some of you have seen me post on Instagram and Twitter, some like little things about I'm working on this really big mental health project. And this is something that I'm kind of experimenting with it, with this weight loss journey myself real quick. Um, for the coming weeks to kind of see how certain things work out, but I will be starting a Discord server and a Facebook group, and it's not specifically for weight loss. It is anybody who is trying to accomplish something or get through something or get past something, you know, like anybody who needs support, right? I'm just working out some details and then I'm gonna launch this thing. But we're gonna have different sections of the Discord, like, you know, if you're working on achieving certain goals, maybe it's with school, or if it's with, you know, weight loss, or if it's with your mental health, or whatever it is. Like, we're gonna have a bunch of different channels in Discord. Just stay tuned and make sure you're following me on social media. But anyways, so the last couple of days, uh, just to catch you up to speed with what I've personally been doing, I've been trying to be a lot more mindful with what I'm eating and how 
mainly how I'm eating, all right? Like, I am the type of person where I will just gobble my food down mindlessly. And something like, those of you who are like old school rewired soldiers, like I don't know if you've noticed this, I definitely have and I feel awful about it, but I used to talk about mindfulness all the time, all the time. You know why I haven't talked about it lately? Because part of this year is I fell off the mindfulness wagon too. And I haven't been practicing as much. I haven't been meditating as much. So this book and some of the other books I've read have talked about slowing down, right? And being more mindful. So today, just quick story, because I don't want this video to be forever. But today, for example, stressful day at work, I was working on this project and it was just driving me nuts and it was right before lunch and I just got that case of the efforts, right? So even though I'm a vegetarian, I'm like, I'm gonna go get some fast food, you know? Even though I'm telling myself I'm gonna eat better and do better and stuff, so I just start driving to Burger King and they have the Impossible Whopper and I'm just going there, I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna get a burger, I'm gonna get a large fry, and, ah, all this other stuff and I was just, I'm just in just total screw it mood, right? By the way, if you can relate to this, like if you get angry and eat, let me know in the comments so I don't feel so crazy. But anyways, as I'm going there upset, like the logical part of my, vo uh, my brain, the prefrontal cortex was tuning in. It's like, Chris, if you're gonna do it, get a small fry. All right, get a small fry. I'm like, no, screw you, right? I'm arguing with myself in the car about this. Um, and I eventually got there and I got small fries because something else that I'm learning about myself too is I am a very all or nothing type of person. And it talks about that in this book. Like I'm the type of person where I'm like, I'm gonna go on this weight loss journey. And if I screw up just a little, I just say screw it. And I will just do so many unhealthy things, right? And this is another reason why I'm trying to get back into mindfulness, not only to get back in the moment and let go of the past and quit future tripping and everything like that, but a huge part of mindfulness too is self-compassion and forgiveness, like, you know, while also having accountability. You know, like one of the reasons like I've noticed a lot lately is, uh, I actually, I haven't even noticed it a lot lately. I've been getting called out on this a lot lately. I beat myself up, okay? Like, I, like no matter what comments I get online and everything, like the things my brain says to me are a million times worse. And my therapist called me out on it the other day. Um, my coworker called me out on it. I think Tristan called me out on it. But yeah, so I'm I'm grateful that people are calling me out on it because I need to get back into practicing self-compassion. Um, one of the last books I just finished was talking about how it creates this cycle when we beat ourselves up and everything like that. But I have this weird thing in my brain and maybe that'll be in my next therapy appointment tomorrow where I, I try to figure out like why I feel the need to beat myself up. Like the way I rationalize it is like, if I don't beat myself up, then I won't do it. If I'm too soft, if I'm too easy on myself, then I'll just coast and not get anything done. You know, and I know, I know that's not true because I, I've been kind to myself in the past. You know what I mean? So I don't know, it's been a crazy year and I wanna end this year with a bang. Um, last thing, I just remembered like, oh wait, it's November, so it's the holiday season where, uh, I don't know what it is. This is like, a million times I've like, oh, I'm gonna get healthy and it's right at the holiday season where it's like the most challenging. But anyways, anyways, I just wanna hop on here and talk about it and uh, hopefully some of you can relate and you wanna go on this journey with me. Um, I'm planning on creating a gym schedule and I have a nutritionist type person I'm gonna be talking to and everything like that to try to figure this stuff out, but hey, Anyways, be nice, be nice to people. Like if they, <laughs> if they fall off, like I, I just wouldn't call them a liar. It's like quitting things are hard. Like imagine you saying that you weren't gonna use your cell phone for a week and then you snuck and you checked your Facebook or Twitter or something and someone's like, liar! No, you, you slipped up, you know what I mean? Let it go, let it go, it's all right. But anyways, um, ah. Feel good talking about this. So yeah, retweet this video for an extra entry in the Shane Dawson palette giveaway. Um, I have some more videos planned out for the rest of this week and make sure you're just staying tuned because I'm gonna throw you a little, little 
tips on how you can get more entries into the giveaway and stuff like that. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books and merch and all that other good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.